Hi, I'm Christy Grays. I'm here with Max Lickenstein. And we're here at the NT2D training facility in South Florida. So Max, I spoke with you earlier this year and I know you have to catch us up on a lot. Yep. So last time we spoke, you were in high school, but on your way to the University of Memphis. I want to know all about that experience. Okay. Glad to be back. The experience went really well. The season went well. We went 8-8-1, eight, eight, and one. so we were out a point in the conference tournament, so we didn't make that. Uh, I was personally out for half the year with an injury and made some progress getting back, but decided a red shirt. The coaches and I spoke about it, and it was the right choice, so I'll be a red shirt freshman next year. And my competition's an older senior, so that'll be a good competition, but we have a young team, a lot of freshmen and sophomores, and we're definitely making progress and love the school, love the university, love my teammates, so it was a good first semester. Tell us about training at the college level. Compared to academy level and high school, it's definitely a lot more intense. The guys are bigger, stronger, faster. Division one soccer is just a really physical and fast game, so you have to come into training camp right in tip-top shape and be ready to run the fitness test and get in the weight room. And just, it's, a, it's a lot more physical game than I had expected, but it's all been good, and I definitely like the pace of play. What's your plans in the off season to get in shape? Definitely coming out here when, when I'm on break. I don't necessarily say break. It's time, obviously, to be with family and friends. But coming out with Giuseppe, working my tail off to get that starting job in Memphis. And it's going to take going to the gym, working out there, then coming here at night and doing other fitness on my own to prepare me for the two and a half month season that we have there. It goes by really fast. so. You have the off season to get ready for those two months. What months are those? So we typically get in around the first two weeks of August. Okay. And our first game will usually start like late August. And if we don't make the conference tournament, our season ends typically in the first month of November. I know Giuseppe means a lot to you. How has he played a role even while you're in Memphis? I actually emailed him the week before I left and just asked for a little advice. And he said to be a more intense practice player than you would be in the game because you only have one game, two games a week, but you have so many practices. So you have to be sharp every practice, intense, pretty much game-like in practice to be ready for those games. And he's been, since 14, 15 years old, somebody I talk to about everything, to be honest. Uh, he's been a huge role in my life, and I thank him for everything. What's your role here tonight and during the, the off-season with the younger athletes? Give them some tips and advice. If they ask anything, I'm open to tell them what the Division One experience is like. But just to be an inspiration to them, Giuseppe could make an average player into a really good player. So they just have to focus on the field and get ready. And hope these goalkeepers keep working hard and make it just as far as I do because I know they all can. So it's just hard work and they got to stay dedicated. Giuseppe knows what he's doing and they just gotta stay focused. I wish I was training right now. I'm out for just a week, just gotta take a break on my knee, but I'll still be out helping everybody. Just to be out here with everybody has been great. I enjoy it a lot. Tell us a little bit about the University of Memphis off the field. Yeah, uh, it's a perfect mix for a, for a college athlete. There's not too much partying to go on to distract us, but there's on weekends after we get a win, the coaches tell us to be smart and we'll just all hang out as a team, party as a team with other athletes really. During the season you don't have that much time to meet all the people in the school, so when the spring comes and we have a little more time, hopefully I'll meet some non-athletes, but so far it's just been, it's, it's perfect for a college athlete, I can't, I can't complain in the, in the uh, academic part. I got a 3-7 this semester, which is, <laughs> which is better than it was, my goal was 3-5, so 3-7 is, is good for me. Uh, but the tougher classes will be next semester, so uh, I, gotta I gotta stay on top of my grades. And would you attribute your experience and training as a goalkeeper to helping you academically? Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. It's on the field in the classroom, you have to be focused and on your game or else you'll be kicked out of college with a 1.3 GPA. So. <laughs> Uh, staying on the field and having that focus is just the same in the classroom. You gotta 
Our uh, coaches in college demand us to have above a 3-2, so we have to stay above that. Even though GPA for NCAA is different, the coaches really like us to be above that 3-2. So it, it keeps us all in, it, all focused in school. Well, the University of Memphis sounds like it was a great decision <laughs> yeah. for you. We're hoping that you heal perfectly and that your training gets back in your focus and, and do well this season. Thank you. Well, we're continuing to wish you all the best, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.